Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Nintendo Zone Three Twenty Eleven here. I came Manny Wolverine. You guys on our central on our social channel, follow me on Twitter, right here on BitChute, Instagram, etc., Rumble, whatever other platforms that you can make up in case anything bad happens to this channel, of course. Anyways, um, yeah, before we get into this, uh, just quick, you can skip the first two minutes of this video because, um, after getting that from work, I took like a good two hour nap and I had a really effed up dream. I felt like the whole world, the way I was looking at it, it's crazy because I'm about to talk about in this article. It was like a Gears of War 4 mixed with freaking Bioshock and Fallout 76 and all these like end of the world apocalyptic Armageddon sort of games. You can think of like that Mad Max one, past the Fury Road one, past the Modern one. Now mixed with, um, not even Among Us, but other stuff like that, like Soma. If any people ever played that PC game, Killing Floor 2 and all that, it was like mixed with a bunch of other video games. And it's crazy, and it had all this stuff to do with the VA, you know what, double X flu shots, let's just call them that. But the ones that are from these companies, where I can't even say none of the names. The only one I can probably say is BioNTech, and maybe the Johnson & Johnson one, and that's a... <laughs> Other than that, you know the rest of them, because I can't say it here on YouTube. Oh, shit, we get terminated immediately. If you say anything bad or speak bad against it. It's like Bo Jargin. And his little running campaign, Miss Harris. Can't say anything bad about them. Because <laughs> mainstream media is the only one like CNN and Fox are the only ones that allow this freaking talk on the F dump. Or lamestream mainstream media bullshit freaking Illuminati, Freemason, Rockefeller, Rothschild places. Anyways, anyways. Yeah, um, just real, real quick, I wanted to talk about it before I get into the year of the war. And Master Chief being in Fortnite, I missed that one apparently. Which is weird because I saw the whole thing for, um, Game Awards of the other day. I'm just talking little bits and pieces about it. And I'll leave a link to this one from Polygon, even though I don't like Polygon that much. Some Game Awards CGA and Game Awards all announcements, trailers revealed. I'm not going to read that one from Polygon. You guys can read it in Switch Moss below. <laughs> to me, they're just trash mother efforts, man. Them and Kotaku. Because they like to fuel a lot of stuff that they say with hatred and all that bigotry, in my opinion. Anyways, let me get a drink real quick. Yeah, if you're wondering, my voice sounds a little bit weird. It's because I just finished taking a nap like 10 minutes ago. To work my ass off on freaking overtime at work. It sucked. And the discomfort in my freaking little bandana mask, which sucked. I gotta do it. <laughs> so I said next month or next year, I'm scared as sad as it sounds. I mean, I'm being homeless in May, June, July, or August. Because I think they said around spring or summer. Like around May or June. That's so when we're going to start doing that authorization for you know what that VAXXCCINES with all these laboratory companies start getting the flu you know what shots um or SHOTS probably can't even say that one yeah it was just like a very real apocalyptic thing if you didn't take those VA you know what's into your arm or into your forehead which scared me even more oh you had to go into purgatory and you had to burn and you know where H-E-L-L -L for the rest of your life. I was like, <laughs> I'm not taking it. And then this whole war, just like Killing Floor, Gears of War, Killing Floor 2. Uh, what was it called? Before Gears 5, even. The Bioshock series, all that. It, it was crazy as hell. Even like The Last of Us sort of thing. Before The Last of Us 2. And all these crazy demon monsters running all over the place. And I was just, phew, I was blasting all of them. Like a mother effer with all these really cool looking weapons. And I had survived. I didn't get hit one time. So this angel of light, in my own personal opinion, was like Jesus, God, Yahshua, Yahweh, protecting me from all this. And this beautiful, awesome, badass angels, man. <laughs> they were protecting me from all this evil, demonic forces. It was so effing cool. But, yeah, let's get into this thing. So Gears of War 5, High Busters, Expansion, Release, December 5th, the Xbox Game Pass, Ultimate. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about uh, Xbox, Microsoft news, but I wanted to talk about this. Because this one nostalgia. I remember playing Gears 1, 2, and 3 back in the day when my friends had a original Xbox and Xbox 360. I remember I played it for about a few months, too. And after uh, Xbox One, I didn't play that ever. What you need to know, this comes from Samuel, got to get credit, credit is due, Samuel Holton? I think that's what it said. Hope it was true, yeah. Samuel Tolbert, there he is. Back in October, the Coalition revealed that the story DLC pack was coming to Gears 5 sometime in December. Now we've got a new trailer releasing from High Busters. The expansion adds a three-hour Campaign to see Scorpion Squad traversing the volcanic Galiline, <laughs> Nalangi Islands. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. 
Gears 5 Heist Busters is set to release December 15th. You can check out the new trailer for High Buster Smash Blow. I could have did a reaction on it, but I just wanted to read it instead. I didn't have that energy or time or excitement to react to it. Also, I was to say Scorpion Squad, Mac, and Keegan, and Lani. Yeah, that's a set. Have unique abilities that can be used in the story missions. This trio was first debuted to escape mode. That is shipped with Gears 5. It'll be interesting to see where these stories go, especially near the swarm creatures shown in the trailers. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing those. Yep. And there's the last part here. Much like the main campaign, Gears 5 High Busters is enhanced for the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, as well as supporting three co op players. There's also 210 game scores worth of new achievements that are being added. The expansion is. Available for twenty dollars, you subscribe to the Xbox Pass and Limited or Ultimate. That is included. No cost. Yeah, our thoughts, series, and opinions. It's a really cool, sick, beautiful, badass trailer. A tiny bit creepy, but at the same time, it was really, really cool looking, man. Honestly, graphics and everything is just super realistic. It's beautiful. It's pretty. It's just everything you can think of in a Gears of War five. Then, anyways, let's get on to the next article here. Fortnite. And you know, I don't really give a rat's butt about Halo series. I never have, never will. Just like with Animal Crossing and Final Fantasy and EA Sports shit. I don't give a mierda, puta mierda shit about it. I'm sorry. Or shysta about it. Alright, so Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 has Xbox characters. We already knew it, and that's real. <laughs> How did I miss this during the Game Wars? Maybe I was like, I don't know, taking a crap or something when I came back from the live stream when everyone was watching it that day. I'm not sure who made this. 630 or Thomas Francisus from Minverse. I'm not reading the whole thing, I'm only going to read half the article, so links to the description box below. So it says, Fortnite's a non-stop overcross machine. <laughs> crossover machine. As if a giant crossover with Marvel during the Chapter 2 and Season 4 special appearance of The Mandalorian, a Season 5 that wasn't enough. We learned that Master Chief from Halo is coming to the Fortnite series in the game during Game Awards. This crossover was confirmed with a special trailer. It was tested with the players they could expect from a Future of Fortnite Chapter 2. Season 5, Master Chief comes off as the Warhog vehicle and a glider based on the Pelican airship. Check out the reveal trailer below. And I'm not reading anything after this tweet here. Yeah. Alright. This Fortnite... Oh, here we go. That wasn't all that was revealed in the trailer tonight either, which was two days ago by the time you guys see this. A Blood Gulch was confirmed in the map and a Fortnite creative that will be available on December 11th, starting December 11th. Oh, it's yesterday. Okay. The skin's based on their own Mick Mikani. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Mikan, Mikani. From The Walking Dead are also coming to the game. Oh, wow. One's from The Walking Dead, too. That's probably from the new one. That's why I can't say it. Check out the full vlog with the Fortnites, da 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 da, TGAs, Game Awards, announcement, like more. And the Game Awards not only. So there's video game industry version of the Oscars. And same thing with the Grammys too and MTV shit too. The music awards, which is mainly all real TV bull crap now. Let's move on. The Oscar were developers which can be rewarded for their hard work, but it houses tons of announcements as well as some. Like the Super Smash Brothers announcements. I already heard about that stuff for us. I did my reaction that yesterday. Same with Hello Boss from Vibzy Pop. Links down below if you want to check it out. Hopefully if I remember how to put them there. Were teased beforehand before Epic Games. That was teased just six hours before a sneak peek at the next Hunter Award during the show. Okay. What a sneak peek. Why not a sneak peek at the Hunter Island? Who knew Game Awards to take out? You know what you hear. You know, I'm going to have a thought about Fortnite. You know, I am with that. Unfortunately, this Fortnite was also spoiled due to a leak. <laughs> yes, yeah, so overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I really don't care about it. Halo just never did nothing for me. I showed that big disaster they had a few months ago. It was like the first older E3 that they did for Microsoft's E3 and it was all virtual and it's all like zoom calls and all that but still it got worse it's probably not gonna be till 2022 2023 like another two three more years before they even have that in the Xbox S the Xbox X future and let's get to the last one I actually really give a huge crap about this one my boy Vin Diesel aka the star of Chronicles of Riddick and the Hollywood celebrity actor for Fast and Furious series and the triple X full action or uh, full assault or I think it was full throttle. That one was really, really cool. I know he did a few other movies too, and then, and then he did the blood one whenever it was like supposed to be the monster verse. Blood gauge. I forgot what it was. This comes from Megan hopefully I'm saying this right. Falco Mishra. 
Fricker Mission, Megan Nicolette. Vin Diesel is in the Dinosaur Hunter arc too. I played the first one on PC, it was cool. It was kind of boring after a while when I finished half the game, but the other half uh, could have been better, I'm just saying. Does Ark Survivor of all is returning for a sequel Arc 2 starring the Fast and Furious star Vin Diesel? The news was announced today during <clears throat> during the game awards with the trailer. Vin Diesel was a character playing as Santiago. I thought this was going to be like Horizon Zero Tom Forbidden West 2 when I saw this, but I said R2 when I was looking at the Game Awards yesterday, or the other day, two days ago. <laughs> Ark Survivor Evolved Edition was released in 2017 by <clears throat> excuse me, Studio Wildcard, an adventure, action adventure game player. Players find themselves <clears throat> stranded in a dinosaur filled island. The developer announced it was animated. Oh, okay. Some of the features that were voiced by Michael Young and Jeffrey Wright. Jeffrey Wright! That's the one that was in that, um... Oh, I forgot the new version of Rust World. He was like the little robot android dude, and he had this little, like, CGI in the middle of his, like, head. It was insane, bro. Elliot Page, of course. Gonna have that one. A.K. Ellen Page. I am not even gonna open that can of words. It's still a woman to me. It's not a man. This is whole bi-gender, gender fluidity shit. To me, it's not real. I'm just saying. It's bogus shit. And let's move on. Russell Crowe, Gerard Butler, and more. Diesel plays a part. Oh, I remember I was fanboying so freaking hard when I saw that. More details, including expansion game, will be released tomorrow, which is really like pfft, the other day. And there goes their tweet. Proud to announce TGA's Ark Survival <laughs> tonight at the Game Awards, which was two days ago. Ark is starring Vin Diesel and Santiago, which is awesome as hell. Super badass as heck. Arc the anime series implores exploring Helena's story. Catch the official high res arc two trailer rendered. Okay. Oh wow. Tomorrow, which was literally the other day. Oh, that's gonna be so freaking sick, man. I cannot wait for that. December tenth. It's probably six thousand people. It's probably way more than that. Look at that. Arc the animated series. Gerard Butler, Malcolm Matto, of course. Ellen Page, Elliot Page, and I say it there. Jeffrey Wright, Carl Urban's in there? He was the one in, um, that dude with Chris Pratt, I forgot. Not, um, the Marvel movie, I forgot what the frick that name was. It wasn't Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movies. And Carl Urban was one of the bad guys in there. He was sick as heck, man. I loved him in there. And Russell Crowe, obviously, is legendary for my life. Are you not entertained? I remember that dude. Russell Crowe said, Carl Urban, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, he was the one with the blue skin, and he kept doing that little whistle thing, and he slices and stabs people with this invisible knife. It's freaking crazy, this sword knife. That's all I gotta say for now, and I'm out of here. Ben Diesel, absolute phenomenal actor, very nostalgic to me. I really hope he's better than the Fast and Furious one, because that Fast and Furious game that came out a few months ago, real trash. I saw my boy on the Ace channel. <laughs> that was complete garbage shit, man. Real bad. That's all I gotta say for now, I'm out of here. Thanks to all three of these articles and switch mods down below if you want to check it out and you're yourself in the dump. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls, and as always, all tacos and Nikki commodities out there. I will see you when I see you. Beautiful guys, have a good day, have a good night. Wherever you are in the universe out there, stay tuned for future content and channel with video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news. And that pretty much wraps it up. That's it. Peace out, Emily. Like sauerkraut, laters in the bio. See you awesome people on the absolute flip side. I'll talk to you soon. Later.